From spine-tingling encounters with deer with crooked necks to hair-raising sightings of the elusive skinwalker in its true form, today's collection of trail cam videos is definitely not for the faint of heart. We start off today's video with a trail cam video that is as crooked as it is awkward. Do you have that one friend who always turns his neck in an odd position to listen or hear you out? If you don't, you should be glad because that can get very creepy, just like the deer you see in this footage. It's definitely late at night. This deer is turning its neck and head in weird positions. Is it being possessed by some external force or is it merely transforming? These questions plague my mind and all who saw it because we thought that there was no way a normal deer could have its head and neck in such positions. This was at least the case until we saw the follow-up clip which shows a deer roaming through the woods with its neck stuck in a similar position. No one knows what happened to it or why its neck is like that. If you were to ask me though, I'd say it was probably an otherworldly creature that got stuck in this state while transforming. But then again, that's me. What do you think is happening to the deer here? As disturbing as that video was, I'm not sure it can compare to the content of this footage, especially if you live near the location where it was captured. On this channel, we have reviewed countless Bigfoot videos, but we've never seen this many Bigfoot creatures in one place. In the video, we see an adult Bigfoot scaling the hill with many young ones. Given how freely they move in the footage, it's likely that this area is close to their home and one they would not expect humans to enter. Well, except nosy ones like the explorers who captured the footage. Have they been seen by anyone else in the area? Apparently they have. People in the area stated that they'd caught glimpses of the Bigfoot family in the woods, but unlike the footage captured by the explorers, the family was usually jumpy and very careful. This was the testimony given by the few who had encountered the family. Everyone else thought it was a hoax and a ploy for fame and popularity. The second bit of footage was captured of the same Bigfoot family, but in the woods instead of on top of the hill. So the difference in behavior and carefulness, they don't know if they can be discovered and do not want to be. Perhaps they've been hunted down and killed in the past. If that were the case, it might explain their carefulness. Would you live in an area where you knew a Bigfoot family lived? Next, imagine setting up your trail cam to observe and study the development of birds right from the time they hatched their first flight and discovering something entirely different. This was the case of the trail cam owner who had originally set up the camera to observe and study baby birds, but ended up capturing footage of a Bigfoot as well. When the owner of the trail cam reviewed the footage from his camera, he was shocked to see a dark figure moving on the ground just below the nest. When the owner zoomed in on the moving figure, the footage you see below was captured. Not only was this an ape-like creature with human-like features, but one that was ginormous considering how tall it was in relation to the environment. What the creature did next killed all considerations of it being an ape. Although we know that apes are intelligent, they don't typically gather logs to build structures like the one we see the creature constructing in the footage. But why would a Bigfoot build a shed for itself in the open? Perhaps the area is so remote that he didn't expect anyone to visit or disturb his peace and that might have been the case, but for this meddling bird researcher. I'm tempted to share the exact location this footage was taken, but for your safety I guess I'd have to keep it a secret. Naturally, people are very uncomfortable with blackbirds for a number of reasons, with the most prominent being that they represent death or something ominous. There are some cultures that avoid these birds altogether and would want nothing to do with them. I wonder how such individuals and cultures would respond to this bird scene. I don't know about you, but this scene gives me an apocalyptic vibe or a feeling of death and misery. But believe me when I tell you that there's nothing ominous about this bird scene. It's actually a flock of birds that were going about their business until they were disturbed. I've no idea what disturbed them, but I'm pretty sure this is very normal bird behavior, unless you see something that I don't. If you aren't watching this video on the highest quality, you might want to do that for this particular video. A man has gone out at night when he heard the rustling of leaves and footsteps from some bushes not far from him. Fearing he was dealing with a wild and dangerous animal, he aimed his lights in that direction hoping to see what he was dealing with and possibly scare it off. Nothing could prepare him for what he was about to see. Right behind the bushes, he saw something that he thought could only exist in the world of fiction. He saw a creature with the head of a wolf and the body of a man. 
He tried to get a good view, but it looked like the creature did not want to be captured. It remained behind in the bushes and eventually retreated. He was already filming before he heard the noise and didn't stop when he went to investigate. I've no idea why people try to investigate weird and strange noises coming from the bushes, but one thing is for sure, you won't catch me doing that. It's just not worth the risk. But coming back to the creature, what do you think it is? A werewolf, a man beast, or is it even real at all? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. I love a good ghost story just as much as everyone else, but that's as far as my love for ghosts go. I don't intend to meet any, nor do I intend to befriend any as well. I'm not sure about you, but this steer seems to share my sentiments on avoiding ghosts. Confused? Take a closer look at the trail cam footage. The deer was going about its normal nightly duties when it suddenly stopped in its tracks, looks around, and then runs. The owner of the trail cam footage initially thought it had just been spooked by an unfamiliar sound or possibly a predator. That was until they took a second look and saw a translucent creature moving toward the deer. He was convinced he'd just seen a ghost. But what do you see? If there's one thing I've observed since getting my trail cam observation degree, yes, that's a degree I gave myself. I've noticed that if you want enjoyable trail cam footage of animals, pay attention to trail cam footage during the daytime. And if you want the weird, scary stuff, pay attention to the footage from the night. Although there are exceptions to this rule, this is not one of them. If you look closely at the still image from the original trail cam footage, you'll see a sketchy figure behind it. The blurry creature is trying so hard to stay out of sight, but it's clearly not been very successful at doing that. Although hidden and blurry, we can still tell it's there. The way it keeps staring directly at the trail cam makes it look as though it knows the trail cam is there and it's plotting something. Whatever that might be, I just can't put my finger on it. But what would you do if you were the owner of this trail cam footage? Would you go back to the area or would you avoid it altogether? But before we move on, do you even believe this footage is real at all? Imagine exploring the woods only to come across a tall ape-like figure with curved arms walking only a few feet away from you. What do you think the most logical thing to do would be? If your answer would be to run or to retreat stealthily and tactically, then you and I share the same views. But like everything in this world, there would always be people with differing views, and the owners of this footage are just one such group. This group of friends was exploring the woods when they came across this creature they believed was Bigfoot. Instead of retreating because the situation was potentially dangerous, they got closer and filmed. They kept filming until they lost sight of the creature. I have a feeling the creature noticed them and decided to evade them. But what if it didn't? What if it decided to attack them and take them out? We most likely would have had a missing persons report on our hands without even knowing why or how they went missing. I really do believe this is how many people suddenly disappear without a trace. What about you? Still on chasing dangerous creatures, we have this trail cam footage which surfaced in 2017 with the roles reversed. Instead of him curiously chasing a dangerous animal, it looks like the creature noticed him and decided to give him a chase. Given the fact that he already had a trail cam set up while running from the beast, I won't be at all surprised if it noticed it earlier and decided to go after it, perhaps to try and get footage like the previous one we discussed. As we can see in the footage, the encounter did not end well. One question remains though, what creature was he being chased by? He claims he was being chased by the big man himself, Bigfoot. Bigfoot enthusiasts who've seen the video agree with this, but there's a small set which is very unhappy with his claim and call it blasphemous. They state that there's no way that that could be Bigfoot, especially because of how it moves. They believe it's nothing but a black bear. What do you think though? Black bear or Bigfoot? Do tell us in the comments section. Do you think that the feeling that you're being watched could potentially mean that you're in danger? Well, nobody likes to feel that way, and I'm sure you don't either. But what about animals? Do they care at all? While you think about it, take a good look at this trail cam video. In it, you see wolves howling, but take a closer look at the background. That's right. You see it, don't you? Those two eyes look like they're stalking those predators. What about this image that was taken from another trail cam footage from the same area in the Mexican woods? This time, the eyes are three. Could it be two or more different creatures stalking the wildlife animals? But why would they be stalking them? Could they be aliens on Earth to take samples and study the creatures, or are we looking at something otherworldly? Creatures that have come out to feast, or might it simply be a camera phenomenon unique to the area? 
We can't say for sure, but do tell us what you think in the comments section. Have you run into any unknown animals in the woods? What about the beach? Well, this is not exactly a trail cam video, but it has something interesting we'd want you to see. This video was sent in by a user who went to the beach and saw a creature he hadn't seen before. He spent some time online trying to see if he could find whatever creature it was. After many Google searches, he ended up with nothing. Still determined to find out what it was, he uploaded it online so people could help him identify it. My team also tried to identify it and couldn't come up with anything substantial. Frankly, it looks like an animal that could both exist on land and in water. I don't want to assume it's alien or something otherworldly without substantial proof. Can you help? Can you tell us what the creature is? Do share it with us in the comments section. This trail cam footage is very short, but it captures something big, literally. That's definitely Bigfoot moving in the shadows. It's definitely no species of monkey and certainly no human. This leaves only one creature in the picture, Bigfoot. But it certainly does raise questions with the prominent being. Are we seeing an actual close-up of Bigfoot or is this just an elaborate plan by some folks to catch some clout? Tell me what you think about this whole thing in the comments section. Still on the subject of mystery, take a look at this trail cam footage. In this footage, we see a scary looking creature lurking in the background. We've seen these kinds of creatures before, not in real life, but in horror movies. This makes the whole footage very unsettling and scary. The creature moves in the shadows as though it were intentionally avoiding the camera and disappears as quickly as it appears. The first part of the footage was taken by a moving camera as it was discovered by someone going through the woods, and the latter portion was discovered taken from a trail cam. The trail cam footage is clearer, but it does not give us answers. What type of creature is this and what was it doing out in the woods? Had it come from a different dimension, an otherworldly place, or was it simply an alien creature roaming that particular section of the woods? Is it dangerous? Has it killed or hurt anyone? There are questions we can't help but ask ourselves. Whatever creature it might be, one thing is evident. That section of the woods must be avoided at all costs. What do you think? Take a look at these creatures and tell me what you think they are. Did you think they were aliens? Well, I thought so too, especially given how weird they looked and how tall they were. Turns out I was wrong though. They're nothing but barn owls. These owls are known for their distinctive features, which give them the alien and disturbing look we see in the footage. I guess not every unknown thing can be attributed to aliens after all. The owner of this trail cam footage came across the weird looking hairless creature on his trail cam. He examined the footage to see if he could determine what kind of creature it was. If you ask me though, there was not much to examine. It's definitely a hyena in my books. Perhaps one that had gotten sick and lost all of its hair. If it were a hyena, it would still be odd because this man doesn't live in Africa and he didn't expect to see hyenas in his woods. He went out to the woods to investigate and make sure he really knew what he was dealing with. When he went out to the location his trail cam had captured the hyena, he saw nothing, even after searching for hours. On his way, he heard something that sent chills down his spine. You might want to increase your volume at this point. Did you hear that? That's not what hyenas sound like. That was definitely not a hyena. Being the logical man he was, he quickly got out of there. I applaud him for this. Not many individuals in today's video have done that. Thanks to his logical approach though, he's still alive. It's probably best to be like him. We received this footage of a climbing Bigfoot and could not wait to review it. A group of friends went camping in the woods and set up their camera hoping to capture something interesting. When they woke up in the morning, they saw this black and dark creature that was climbing up a tree. A section of the group of friends thought it might be a bear. Another pointed out that there was no way it could be a bear, but that they could possibly be dealing with Bigfoot. Out of excitement, they forwarded this footage hoping they caught the real deal. What do you think it is? Bigfoot or something else? Well, after examining it, we think the creature is too small to be Bigfoot. We'd love to chalk this up to a Bigfoot climbing, but the creature looks smaller than a bear. Some members of my team even think it's edited footage, but what do you think? Would you go into a cemetery if you heard creepy sounds coming from there every night? Well, the owner of this trail cam footage thought it was a good idea and went into the cemetery. He didn't, however, go there at night. He went during the day, set up his trail cam, and then came back the next day to see if he could figure out what was going on. He was not prepared for what he saw. 
A little after midnight, an odd-looking creature came out of nowhere, moving on all fours. Its legs were nothing like the animals we were accustomed to seeing. Instead, they were long and disproportionate to its torso. It didn't take too long to figure out what he was seeing. It was a skinwalker. This creature is very elusive and evasive as it takes on the form of other people and things to scare its victim. Perhaps it didn't realize the trail camera had been set up and came out in its original form. Or could it be that it knew and wanted the man to see it? Well, we can't say for sure, but if I were in the man's shoes, I'd be very careful, especially because similar-looking creatures, albeit smaller ones, have been seen by folks roaming the area. Is it just one creature shape-shifting, or are there more of them in that town? We'll never know. Imagine stepping into your favorite restaurant to have your favorite meal and someone comes up from nowhere trying to kidnap or kill you. No matter who you are, that's sure to leave you traumatized for life. And that's exactly what happened to this little birdie that we see in this footage. It had gone to its favorite bird feeder hoping to get something to eat, only to be violently interrupted by that raptor. Thanks to the positioning of the bird feeder, it was not taken. Looking at the footage, though, I don't think that's the raptor's first time doing something like this. And the reaction of the squirrels in the background does prove this. As you set up bird feeders for your birdies, do put in measures to protect them, else you'll be setting them up for an all-you-can-eat buffet for birds of prey. The owner of this trail cam set it up, hoping to capture some of the wildlife that roams the area. What he saw was so wild that it made him question life, and this is no exaggeration. What do you do when the trail cam just outside your camp captures a man with a glowing aura who seemingly disappears while walking through? If you're tempted to think this is false, watch this part of the video. Did you see the dog pay attention? Did you realize it was equally confused as we are? Did you notice it didn't bark or do anything? Wonder why? The dog could probably feel a presence, one that disappeared and reappeared without it picking up anything on its nose. Nothing confuses a dog like being able to see something, yet not being able to smell it. This for me removes all doubts that this hasn't been edited. There's something out there, and whoever sent this trail cam footage needs to be very, very careful. It's not safe. Take a look at this trail cam footage. At first glance, it looks like all is well. But look at the left side of the screen. Do you see these dots? Those tiny dots that look like nothing we should be concerned about. But when we zoom in, we realize that those dots are actually eyes that belong to a head. It's an oddly shaped head. There's no way it belongs to a human, and it does not match any known animal or creature on the planet. Taking a closer look at the head does give me some ideas. It's alien. Before you jump in and say aliens are not real, this footage clearly doesn't look edited, and this creature is certainly real. How do you explain that? Dinosaurs. Did they move to the center of the Earth, or are they living among us, or are they truly extinct? Imagine waking up in the morning and reviewing your security camera footage to see this. The footage may only be four seconds long, but it was long enough to live rent-free in the mind of Christina Ryan, the property owner who believed it had to be a dinosaur, specifically a raptor. However, if you know anything about dinosaurs, you know that this is hardly possible since accepted science and records show they have been extinct for millions of years. But what if the science is wrong? What if they do exist? What if they're living among us? I mean, the smaller ones could be hiding and we wouldn't know. Some experts believe it could really be a dinosaur, while one is convinced it's a dog that had escaped with its leash around its neck. Watch the footage again and tell me what you think you're seeing. I'll be reading the comments. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. We just can't get enough of the enigmatic creature. It's said to share the likeness of a human and an ape, and the mention of its name always leads to a heated debate in the paranormal community. Some claim that the various bits of footage we have seen of the creature so far are nothing but a hoax, while others strongly subscribe to the idea that they're real. But what do you think? Before you give your opinion, you might want to judge this footage and then judge for yourself. This trail cam footage surfaced in 2010 after the owner realized he'd actually recorded something interesting walking through the woods. Look carefully. It looks like an ape-like creature due to its physique and fur. A second look at it, however, will also reveal its human-like mannerisms and even moves like one. Despite the marriage of all these features, it's hard to call it human given all the fur it has, and also hard to call it an ape given its human-like features. What then is it? 
your guess is as good as mine. Bigfoot? Some don't think so and say it could be a person in a costume, but I highly doubt that. Others claim it's edited footage, which isn't impossible, but I don't think it is. I really do believe this is one of the earlier footages of Bigfoot. Beyond the description I've given so far, it's said to be around 8 feet tall. How many humans do you know that are that tall? One of the scariest things is the unknown. You know that feeling when you're in the dark alone, but you feel another presence beside you and you can't make out what it is. Well, this trail cam footage is a typical example. In it, we see a fox scouting a field in the dark. But look closely, there's more. Just behind the fox in the darkness, we see two eyes that appear mysteriously and are about the size of a human. The fox notices the mysterious and ominous presence and looks in that direction. It tries to make it out but isn't sure what to do. It stares in confusion as it sees eyes from behind the bushes but isn't quite sure what to make of it. And just like the fox, we're left wondering, what is this mysterious presence? Analyzing the footage, I'm very sure the creature is at least six feet tall. Could we be possibly looking at another Bigfoot scenario? Well, we can't say for sure, but whatever was lurking in the shadows is surely bad news. You wouldn't want it following you. Imagine setting up your trail camera hoping to capture some interesting footage only to return to find it damaged. You're angry and hope to capture whoever did it on recorded footage. You search through the footage until you find the culprit, a playful bear cup messing around with your camera. What would you do? The owner of this camera found it cute and funny and ended up sharing it online. But how would you react? Would you have done the same or gone to the woods to give Mama Bear a lesson on parenting? Let us know in the comments section. This is a topic that I find particularly interesting. Continuing on the topic of destructive tendencies of bears, take a look at this adult bear. It's possible that it's related to the little bear we just saw or even farthered it. Out of curiosity, this big bear approached a trail camera set up near a beaver dam and conducted some scientific experiments to determine what it was dealing with. As a result of its curiosity, the trail cam fell from its original position. It's clear that bears need to be taught that trail cams are not toys, but the question is, who will teach them? Did you know fish is an active part of the diet of wolves? Have you ever wondered how they catch their fish since they've no fishing rods, bait, nets, or any other fancy tools we use when fishing? Well, it turns out wolves don't need any of these things. They're naturally equipped to catch fish in their own way, and this trail cam footage gives you a perfect depiction of how they go about it. Like fishermen, Wolves need focus, but unlike fishermen and their tools, wolves rely on their jaws and laser-sharp focus to catch fish. Who knew? Still on wolves, enjoy this very short clip of wolf pups. Every majestic adult wolf you see was once this cute and adorable, but make no mistake, they can be quite dangerous when provoked. And if you ever see a wolf den with puppies like this, whatever you do, do not approach it. It would end up badly for you once either parents or members of the pack arrive. They don't joke with their babies. If you enjoyed the cuteness of the previous video, then you should be able to appreciate this. Yes, they're fighting. Yes, they're at each other's throats. But are they actually trying to hurt each other? No. Cubs often play in this manner, and it's a way to help them grow healthily and learn essential skills for the life of an upcoming predator. Hear those growls? Imagine what they would sound like coming from a fully grown and matured wolf. What would you do when a strange animal out of nowhere hits your car and runs off? Well, I for one would get out of there. But not these Mexicans. They chased after the creature, and I'm here wondering why. What did they intend to do with the creature once they caught it? Why would you think you can subdue it if it was strong enough to hit your car and run off? Well, perhaps they had a plan, but they still recorded their chase of the creature, though. At first, I thought it was a dog when I saw the footage, more specifically a poodle. But there's no way a dog could rattle the bushes like this creature did in the video. And if a poodle did hit a car, there's no way it's running off because it would need a doctor. So what are we dealing with? No one knows. The family was never able to catch up to the creature because it disappeared into the bushes. But that leaves me with more questions than answers. What was the creature? Are people in the vicinity safe? I guess we'll have to wait a while longer to find out. Are there other creatures living among us that we don't know about? This footage suggests that there might be. 
A couple come across the carcass of an animal on a tree. They initially suspected that it might belong to a sloth or a bat, but probing further, they realized that it was not possible and that the body might belong to another animal. They then decided to bring the carcass down and investigate, but things take a strange turn from there. Suddenly, crows ate what was left of it until there was nothing left. As if crows don't have enough superstition about them already, why did they consume the carcass when the couple and park authorities decided to bring it down? Does this sound weird? Doesn't it make you feel like there's something paranormal happening here? I don't know about you, I'd be warily moving for it. Things are not at all what they seem to be. When you walk into a forest and see animals fleeing from one particular direction, what do you think is the appropriate thing to do? Run away from that particular area just like the animals, or run toward it to find out what they're running from? I don't know about you, but I believe the most logical thing would be to run away from that direction. But no, this man thought otherwise. He noticed all the animals were running from one particular direction, and he picked up his camera and drove his car in that same direction. In a few minutes into his journey, he ran into something unusual. He noticed what looked like a tall heap of bushes moving. We all know bushes can't move, so that was perplexing. He decided to get closer to film, and what he saw made his blood run cold. It was no ordinary bush, it was alive and breathing. Before him stood an ape-like humanoid creature that was neither ape nor man. It growled at him, but thankfully it didn't attack. He had just run into a Sasquatch. It seemed to have little interest in him and made a lot of scary sounds. Some believe they're warning calls, but Sasquatch experts, and yes, there are such a thing, believe that those were mating calls. The Sasquatch was busy looking for a mate and couldn't be bothered by the man. Lucky him. Speaking of strange calls, what do you make of these sounds? Scary, right? What do you think is making the noise? Some thought it might be a bear and others assumed it was a wolf. But experts believe nothing that we know of could possibly sound like that. The sound is believed to be coming from a large creature, which gives it the range and tone it has. However, when you listen to the folk in this vicinity, you quickly start to have an idea of what might be going on. They report that in addition to these strange noises heard from the woods, there have been sightings of huge ape-like creatures in the vicinity. Most people who've seen these creatures have done so from a distance, and the creatures always seem like they're trying to make sure nobody is seeing them and quickly disappear into the woods when they feel they've been seen. Does this bring to mind anything or anyone at all? Bigfoot If you thought of any other creature, it's worth noting that Bigfoot is the most commonly associated creature with these sightings and sounds. It's suspected that Bigfoot roams these woods. Have you ever wondered what it's like to see the world from a wolf's point of view, or have you ever wanted to see what a day in the life of a wolf looks like? Well, wonder no more. It's official, and it's here. Wolf camera collars are now available, and you can see how they look. This wolf might need a beard trim, but imagine what we can do with these cameras. Trail cams give us so much already. Just imagine what we could do with these camera collars. Do you remember what your first reaction was to seeing yourself in a mirror? I'm sure the majority of us don't, but some animals would. None of these animals seemed to realize that they were seeing their reflections and thought it was another animal. They launched themselves and tried to scare away their opponent. For some odd reason, this opponent fought back and was never scared. Naturally, this made the wild animals aggressive, but the more they got aggressive, the more their opponent did too. Having had enough, they tried attacking, and to their surprise, every time they walked past this odd structure, they couldn't find the opponent. It was almost as though he existed only in the glass. That's got to be scary. But they all eventually lost interest and walked away. However, not the chimps. They discovered that they were merely looking at their reflections and proceeded to have fun with it. Perhaps they're not too different from us after all. Running into unidentified creatures can be very nerve-wracking, especially if they're deadly looking and have the potential to harm you. This was exactly how the owners of this footage felt when they ran into the dead creature in the footage. It didn't look anything like they'd encountered before, and they were also not particularly sure what it was. Looking at it now, I'm convinced it might be a mole or a sloth even, but I can't say for sure what it is. Can you help out? What do you think they're dealing with here? A normal everyday creature that we're finding hard to identify, or a mutated creature that could potentially prove harmful to us? Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comments section.
Bears are great climbers, especially when it comes to their food, and this trail cam video does not say otherwise. At first glance, you might think the bear just climbed the tree to perform a stunt on the rope above, but a closer look will reveal that there is a dead bird on the rope. But forget the bird. Did you know bears could climb that? Bear in mind, this is not a circus bear. It's not been trained to do that. Pun intended. Somehow, the bear was able to get up the tree, navigate the rope, and hang on with its bare teeth. These creatures can weigh up to 500 to 600 pounds. If you understand that, you should know that this is no mean feat. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't make it to its goal and falls just before reaching its price. If you ever have to get away from a bear, let this video teach you not to climb trees in an attempt to get away. Even ropes are not safe. This is one of the cutest things you will ever see. This panda bear is climbing a tree that clearly cannot hold its weight. It balances its arms on one branch and its legs on a rather smaller branch, which immediately snaps, leaving the panda swinging from the tree with its arms. But it looks like this cutie is determined to remain on that tree, so it latches its legs onto another branch. After finding a comfortable position to remain on the tree, the panda relaxes and basks in the cold snow falling. Who said brown bears were the only good climbing bears? Lynx are majestic creatures of the snow. They're found in the northern parts of America, mostly in places where there is an abundance of snowshoe hair, aka their favorite delicacy. They belong to the feline family and are nocturnal, but you can't deny seeing them during the day with their fur in the sunlight is just mesmerizing. Oh, what I wouldn't give for one of these cats. They're as graceful as they are beautiful. But should you see one in the wild, do the needful thing and keep your distance. Beautiful and majestic or not, they're still wild animals and should be considered as such. I guess this footage is the classic example of a hide-and-seek game gone wrong. These two bear cubs were playing in a tree trunk that had a huge hole in it. The hole was big enough for the cubs to fit in them, but unfortunately they got stuck. The scared cubs let out cries for help, most likely hoping their mom would come for them. She never did. Perhaps because she didn't hear them or didn't know where they were. Fortunately, the owner of the property did. Seeing what was wrong, he realized that there was no way he could defuse the situation. He then called in the experts who got there as soon as they could. Once they were there, they cut bigger holes in the trunk, which were big enough for the cubs to escape. Once they felt safe, the naughty cubs ran out of the tree and headed for the woods. Mama Bear is surely gonna scold them, but when she realizes why they were late, she should be grateful that they're alive at least. Any paranormal enthusiast may think that this deer is possessed by some form of demon or something. Another might even suspect that it might be the mysterious deer lady who is known for seducing and murdering unsuspecting men. I at one point thought so too. But taking a deeper, closer look, it becomes apparent that there is nothing supernatural happening here. No lighting, strange sounds, or transformations are happening. The deer is actually sick. At that point, the footage becomes a very sad one. This deer looks to be panting and rolling around in the grass, but is not having fun. It's suffering from chronic wasting disease. This disease usually affects moose, deer, elk, and reindeer and was detected in the USA, Canada, South Korea, and Norway. The disease affects the brain and spine of these animals. It's caused by certain proteins called prions that attack other proteins in the brain and spine. It affects just the cervid family, which means cattle are excluded. This disease does not have a cure and takes about a year to finally weaken and kill its victim. The deer you see struggling here is unfortunately in its last stages, and it keeps struggling until it falls out of exhaustion and finally dies. A moment of silence for the deer. Humans are often quick to make a fuss over things they don't understand. The owner of this footage was driving one night when he came across a strange-looking animal crossing its path. The animal looks so strange that it's difficult to tell its head from its tail. So the curious driver got down to take a better look at the creature and realized it was two animals in one. As strange as it may seem, the creature was actually carrying another dead animal on its back. It's difficult to see this in the footage, but the animal appears to have sharply pointed ears like those of a wolf or coyote, as if it's carrying a midnight snack on its back. So there's no need to panic, folks. This isn't an alien or an unknown mystical creature, but we have to wonder, how did that creature end up on its back? Have you ever heard of the legend of Dogman? In case you haven't, the Dogman is supposed to be something like a dog variant of a werewolf. 
The major difference between the two is the Dogman does not turn during the full moon and is perpetually stuck in its form. He usually has the head of a dog or sometimes that of a wolf with the body of a human. Ridiculous, right? Yeah, I thought so too until I saw this video. This man was a non-believer in the legend until he went to the woods and came back with this footage. He spent his whole life not believing in the ridiculous legend, only to meet this proof staring at him in the footage he'd recorded in an expedition he'd taken earlier. The dogman was stalking him and he didn't even know it. Imagine it wanted to end him. It would have done so with little to no effort, but why did it only stalk him? Why didn't it hurt him or anything? Was it only interested in providing its existence, or was there something more sinister that never materialized? We'll never know. But what we do know is that the man became a believer right after this near encounter. He even publicly shared this. It takes a lot for someone who doesn't believe in a mystical creature to come out publicly and say he'd encountered it. But that leaves me wondering. If he really did encounter the Dogman, then I can't help but wonder how many of the creatures we have written off as mystical and fictional are actually not and are very real and living here with us. It makes me also wonder how many of them we pass by daily without realizing who or what they are, especially those that can shapeshift. These are thoughts and reflections I hope to have answers to someday, but until then, the Dogman is real and you should be very careful. Mystique from the X-Men was both mysterious and dangerous, possessing the power to shapeshift. Anyone with such a power would be incredibly dangerous, able to go anywhere and do anything without being detected. But what if this power was real? What if you encountered something with this power in the dark woods, impersonating your missing friend? It takes horror and fear to a whole new level. That was the case for two friends who were searching for their missing friends in the woods. They heard this voice calling out to them and saw him in the distance. However, as they got closer, the figure changed shape and ran away. Perhaps it thought there was only one person to attack, but upon seeing two it was spooked and fled. A shapeshifters among us. Have you ever encountered one? Do you know how to deal with them? Please share your experience in the comments section. What do you see? A hairless dog or a chupacabra? This pale hairless creature was spotted in a field in Missouri. The hairless creature looks like a dog. Some have speculated that the creature may be a type of dog, but no one has confirmed this by examining the animal close up. As someone who's interested in paranormal phenomena, even I find it hard to believe that this is a chupacabra. But what do you think this animal is? A stray dog or the infamous chuppy? Imagine you owned a flock of sheep and woke up one morning to see them doing this. If you're as suspicious as I am, your first conclusion would be a spirit came and possessed your sheep or something. The flock started going in circles without any reason. The farmer who owned them thought nothing of it. Initially, it started with just a couple of them going in circles, but after a whole week, all the sheep had joined in on the circus act going around in a circle. Naturally, the farmer was alarmed, but there was nothing to help this sheep. He even had no explanation for the behavior. Could it be that they were worshipping some unseen being? Well, we'll never know. But we do know this. Scientists suspect that the sheep might have been suffering from a bacterial disease known as listeriosis that causes similar symptoms in sheep with depression, fever, and in extreme situations, paralysis in tow. In fact, it is the circling disease. The illness is transmitted through contaminated animal food, soil, and, well, feces. So, mystery solved? Well, not exactly. Sheep suffering from this condition die off within 48 hours, but these sheep continued for at least a week or more. Could it have been something entirely different? Was there really some demonic power at play? Well, we'll never know. But what do you think? The Yeti has always been considered Bigfoot's older cousin that lives in the snowy mountains. Some doubt he really exists, and many people believe they've encountered him and shared their stories. Some have even been fortunate to have footage on him in the trail camps. But have you ever heard of the Russian Yeti? Believe it or not, this is a more aggressive and dangerous version of the normal Yeti we're used to. If you look carefully at this footage, you can see an ape-like creature with dark fur. It's too large to be an ape, and its arms are too long to be one. But how can that be a Yeti when it has dark fur? Unlike the everyday Yeti that has white snowy fur, the Russian Yeti either has a reddish-brown or dark-brown coat and lives in the Russian wilderness. 
Thankfully, not many have had encounters with it. Perhaps they did and were never found, because that's just how the Russian Yeti rolls. We have this footage to confirm its existence, but never go wandering the Russian wilderness alone. You might not come back alive, and whatever you do, should you see the Russian Yeti from afar, run. If it sees you before you see it, chances are you're already an obituary. Imagine going to the forest with your friends to enjoy some fireworks when you're here. Would you stay or would you leave? I know I would get out of there, which is what these friends tried to do. But whatever was making the noise was not prepared to let them leave. Like something out of a horror movie that appeared out of nowhere and started attacking them. You can literally hear the fear in their voices. Go! No! Run! Run! What the f***? What the hell? What the hell? They did make it out alive with minor injuries, but many don't think it's real. Imagine surviving something like that. Nobody believes you actually went through it. I, for one, do believe them. What about you? A couple of friends went out to go camping in the woods, hoping to have fun and chill out. If you know anything about the woods, you know that having a network reception can sometimes become a challenge. These guys knew they were far out, so had to be prepared for it. A member of their team, however, had to make a call. She left the group and they continued having fun. At first, they didn't notice she was gone for several minutes, but when they finally did, they panicked. They were in the middle of nowhere. She should not have been gone for that long. Concerned, they all moved as a group to find their friend, but they didn't find her on the phone as she had planned. She was lying in the grass, and they didn't know if she was alive or not. One of them rushed to her only to find her unconscious. She was alive. There was a unanimous sigh of relief, but that wouldn't last. From nowhere, they heard a loud shriek. One screamed, and they turned around to see a faceless creature with six arms pounding on their friend. <laughs> What was this creature? No one knew. They tried to escape, but it fought them trying to keep them there. By some stroke of luck, they all made it out alive, but scared for their lives. The creature, what it did and what it tried to do to them has left them traumatized, but at least they had their lives and they had the proof. They had the video, and the authorities would do something about it. That at least was what they thought. Not many believed them, and no one went back to verify the story. Do you believe them? If they're telling the truth and their story was never verified, then there is a human-hunting crab-like creature roaming the woods seeking someone to devour. I don't know about you, but this is worrying. In the green lands of southwest Victoria, an unknown creature was spotted. The creature was moving on all fours like a fox or wolf. The top part of its fur was brown and its lower back was striped. This creature resembled a thylacine, an animal that had become extinct in the 1900s. The thylacine was also known as the Tasmanian wolf because it looked like one, and sometimes also referred to as the Tasmanian tiger because of the stripes on its back were like that of a tiger. The last of its kind died in the zoo in the year 1936, which makes the sighting of this new creature quite profound. If this turns out to be true, which I hope it is, then this is big news. It makes me wonder what other extinct species are waiting to be discovered. This next footage is a bit unusual. A woman came across the carcass of this dead but unusual creature. Not knowing what she was seeing, she called in experts to come to take a look at the creature, fearing it might be something undocumented or unknown. It looks like a reptile and was four feet long. The creature had a snout and a long tail with claws. It appeared shrunken and dry. It could be a Komodo dragon or a monitor lizard, but if not, it might be an unknown creature in the bushes. What do you think? Ever heard of spirit guides, or in this case, spirit protectors? This footage was taken at a national park in Fresno. These ghost-like skinny creatures were spotted walking in the night in the park. They looked like a body without arms and heads, just legs and white pants. These entities are actually nothing new in Fresno. They're said to be ancient spirits that roam in the forest to protect and even pose no danger to humans. They're also called night crawlers, so if you spot any of these, don't sweat it. You're probably in good hands. Note the word probably. Aside from all the scary and mysterious creatures that lurk in the wild, there is still a sight of nature that is so calming and satisfying. Take a look at this trail cam footage. These curious bears look like they want to take a selfie. They go straight to the trail camp and briefly sniff it before continuing their journey. 
Mama Bear was going through the woods with her cubs in tow. They seemed well behaved and followed Mama Bear until Junior discovered the trail camera. Potterman realized he could become a scientist or a cinematographer. He starts examining his future equipment and eventually drops it to the ground. After a few minutes, he joins his mum and siblings as though nothing had happened. I'm pretty sure the claws did not leave the camera in good shape either. What would you have done if that was your camera? Can you see the lion in the footage? Well, if you can't, you're already dead. I'm sure you didn't see it coming, but that's how deadly mountain lions can be. They're masters of disguise and would always go for the kill once they're sure of it. If you stood where the trail cam was, would you have survived an attack from this mountain lion? In this video, we see a brown bear chasing some wild horses, but why is this peculiar? Well, for a number of reasons. Bears and horses will typically avoid each other. While wild horses may be very dangerous and capable of taking care of themselves, there are some predators that they just wouldn't take the chance with, and the brown bear is one of those. I mean, if you got injured in the wild, there was no doctor you could go to. Your wounds will most likely get infected, and then you'd just die off. Bears know this too, and would also typically stay clear of wild horses to avoid injury, unless they were desperate or provoked. Brown bears have been known to kill and eat wild horses, but it's rare, extremely rare. They would rather stick to fish, plants, small mammals such as rodents and squirrels, and believe it or not, insects as well. Large mammals such as deer or elk are part of their diet, but only in extreme conditions. That makes this footage all the more curious, especially when more than one horse is running away from the bear. But what if they're both running from something more dangerous? I mean, it's the wild after all. You can never be too sure. What do you make of it? At first glance, this looks like a beautiful drone shot showing us the nice foliage near the house of whoever owns the drone. But in the next few seconds, we realize there's actually more. Look closely, specifically to the right hand of your screen. Did you see it? There's a giant moving through the woods. Although it's walking upright, it doesn't look like it's human, and neither does it seem like it's any ape species we know. I might be tempted to once again say the elusive, mythical, and legendary Bigfoot has been captured on camera, but that'll probably be one time too many. If you've watched our previous videos, you've heard me say Bigfoot sightings have increased and they continually seem to increase. Why is this happening? No one knows, but whatever the case, I think we need to be on guard. This is no conspiracy theory. The videos are there as proof. Back to this particular footage, it's a cause for concern. While we have seen many Bigfoot videos on this channel, this is the first time we've actually seen one this close to a settlement or house. I don't know, but I'm all of a sudden concerned for whomever the owner of the property and footage is. Do tell me, believer in Bigfoot or not, assuming you owned a property, would you stay there after seeing this so close to your home? Do tell in the comments section. If you thought the Bigfoot footage was weird, then I don't know what you'll make of this. Imagine driving on a highway and coming across a wolf walking on its hind legs. Think it's weird? Watch the footage. Did you see that? Was that not a wolf? Now we're used to seeing fairy tale creatures walk on their hind legs, such as the villainous wolf in Puss in Boots. Could this be paranormal? Could we be looking at the mythical vulva creature? Could this be the very first footage of this creature? If you're not familiar with the legend of the wolf wolf, allow me to enlighten you. Legend speaks of a wolf that lives in solitary places such as caves and abandoned houses. He's said to have the head of a wolf and walk on two hind legs as a human does, which is exactly what we're seeing in this video. Despite its fearsome and worrying appearance, the wolver is what many would call a bringer of life. Unlike the wolf in Puss in Boots, he helps out the poor and sometimes leaves fish and other food items for them. If that's indeed the vulva, then he was surely on his way to bless a family. Some insist this is fake, but I don't see it. Perhaps it's because I'm truly hoping this is the first modern video of the vulva. What do you think? Many of us are familiar with cyclops, which are one-eyed men, but what about one-eyed animals? Well, they do exist, and quite a number of them have been documented in literature on the subject, but not many have seen it, at least not until this footage of this goat in India. Looks like something from a horror film, I know, but to scientists, the existence of this goat is nothing short of a miracle. Typically, those diagnosed with this condition, which is officially called cyclopia, do not survive for long. 
But this goat, this particular goat, succeeded in doing so for days, then weeks, and then months. Science says this occurs when the embryonic forebrain of the animal fails to divide into two separate hemispheres during fetal development. Sounds technical, I know. But what if, I mean, just what if this creature was no biological accident? What if it was a goat that belonged to one of the Greek gods? What if there's more to it than we're actually seeing? Far-fetched? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Stepping away from the supernatural, we've something that is quite natural but rarely seen or known by many. Before I say any more, watch the video. Did you see the antlers of the buck fall off? If you haven't lived near deer or wildlife, you might probably be wondering if the buck is fine. But believe me when I tell you, all is well. We're familiar with snakes and frogs shedding their skin, among other wonderful creatures, although bucks or male deers may not have skins to shed. They do have antlers that they equally shed during the winter months. The antlers of some just fall off, while some decide to violently shake themselves until these antlers come off. Why does this happen, though? Antlers are made of bone and tissue, which grow while covered in layers of hair and tissue. Once they grow to their full size, their blood supply is cut, which makes them hard and rough. With time, the connection between the antlers and skull gets weaker, which leads to their eventual fall. As much as I'd love to tell you there was something paranormal happening here, there is not. This is absolutely normal. He set up his camera looking to show off his biking skills to the rest of the world. What he didn't know was it was going to end up showing the world something else. A desperate attempt to survive the wild he'd come to love and enjoy. If you look at the footage carefully, you'll see the rider right past the camera. What was not expected, however, was that he returns a few seconds later pushing his bike. Had something happened when he went out of frame? We wouldn't have to wait long hey. to find out. As he nervously looks behind him, we see him making noises to scare someone or something off. And we don't have to wait long to find out that what comes into frame is something very frightening. It's a bear. He runs, but he doesn't retreat. Clearly, this isn't the first time he's been taught what to do when he sees a bear. He raises his bike to make himself look bigger and hits it on the ground several times to scare the predator off. The bear retreats, but still looks very interested in the young lad. The camera goes dark, but we hear the bear in the background. Did he get the boy? Well, we don't hear a scream, so that's gotta be a good sign. And he did send this video in, which is clearly a better sign. So clearly he did live, but it's obvious that what happened was very frightening. You have to be either powerful or very stupid to attack a lion. But believe me when I tell you that this hippo is far from stupid. Its jaws would have done a great deal of damage to those lions had they not moved out of the way. There are fewer creatures more vicious than a hippo in the wild. The lion may be the king of the jungle, but not on the hippo's turf. It just doesn't work like that. The hippo is one of the most territorial and aggressive animals in the wild. It gets more dangerous when it's in its own waters. The lions learned this the hard way as one well was almost caught in its jaws, but fortunately escaped. The other two also managed to make it to the banks of the river. Whatever you do, never invade the space of a hippo. If lions have no chance, you haven't got the slightest chance either. Hey, just, do you see that? Do you see that? Why is it always the woods? Why are we seeing them more often now? What are they doing out during the day? At this point, these mystical creatures might as well be parading on our streets because it looks like they don't care about being seen in the woods anymore. If you look carefully in this footage, you can see a dark mass moving from one tree to another as though he were looking for someone or something. A part of me feels, however, he sees the men there and is plotting what to do with them. It's clearly not afraid of them and doesn't feel threatened to hide. Unless, of course, it's blind, which may explain why it's holding on to a tree as it moves from one to the other. But I doubt this is the case. Clearly, it's sizing up the cameramen who thought they were safe and hidden. But notice how much bigger and taller it is than your everyday human. Its arms and legs are no joke either. Clearly, no human can win in a one-on-one -on -one match with any of these creatures. 
I know many don't believe in Bigfoot's existence, but based on available evidence, it's hard to deny the existence of this mystical creature. Did you see that? Did you see the woman appear and then disappear in the right portion of your screen? Well, that's at least what the man who shared this trail cam footage with us thought it was. If you inspect the footage carefully, it looks like a person fades in, stays with us for a couple of seconds, and then fades out again. When we zoom in, you can assume that the white part could be the face and the darker part below could be the body. Many believe that when a person dies, their soul still wanders on Earth for a while before they go to the afterlife. It's believed that wandering souls sometimes reveal themselves in subtle ways like this. Do you believe this could be a wandering soul revealing itself, or do you think that there is a more logical explanation? Let us know in the comments. The cubs of many predators in the wild love to play, and these bears are no exception. Playing is actually very good as it helps them build bonds and learn hunting and fighting skills. For bear cubs, the situation is no different, and these cubs took advantage of their time alone to do this. I know they're cute, I know you want to pet them, and I know you want to give them a big teddy bear bear hug. But no matter how strong these urges are, resist them. Mama is always right around the corner, and you might just end up as lunch if you were ever to go near her cubs. Seriously, an aggressive, angry mama bear is the last thing you would want on your tail. Still on cute babies, take a look at the fawn in this trail cam video. It's quick, agile, and very playful. Absolutely cute. If I didn't already know I was looking at the fawn of a deer, I might have mistaken it for puppy behavior. But why is the fawn behaving like that? In fact, why do many babies of many animals behave like this? Turns out, it's not just to kill time, but helps them develop physical skills such as balance and agility as well as strength and endurance. If you've seen any wildlife videos, you'd know that these are very important in the wild. A fawn will, however, usually do so in a safe and trusted environment with a parent around. This is what makes trail cameras so important. Without them, footage like this may never have been captured. Still on mothers and their babies, take a look at Mama Raccoon and her kits. Just in case you didn't know, baby raccoons are called kits. And no, she's not trying to drown them, she's playing with them. If it were to be me and my mom, it would sound something like, Junior, come back here and take your bath. No, Mama, I'm clean. I took my bath last week. Believe it or not, that's just how it used to go with my mom and me. Why bathe every day? Anyway, coming back to the raccoons, much like the baby bears we saw earlier, playing together helps them bond and learn. But then again, this has to happen in a safe and trusted environment like the deer. Thanks to trail cameras, we can record and enjoy intimate moments like these. I don't know about you, but I find this fascinating. Speaking of raccoons, this is a trail cam shot the owner of this trail cam never expected. I mean, who would have ever thought that one, two, three, four, four raccoons would never work together to steal from a corn feeder? I mean, I know they're often likened to thieves because of their odd appearance, as though they were wearing a mask and their shady activities at night, but this is something I never expected. Perhaps they really are the thieves of the wild after all. Stepping away from the life of crime, let us consider a different kind of life, one filled with romance and bliss, the joy of being intimate with the one. Oh, wait, uh, this might actually be a crime scene. Uh, yeah, it's all clear now, definitely a crime scene. What happens when your husband gets home to find you cheating? Well, this happens. That lion was lucky to get away. The darker main lion didn't look like he was playing at all. No wonder Cheating Boy didn't fight back and proceeded to run. Getting intimate with the wife of another is a crime in many places, unless, of course, you're rich. The situation is not so different in the Lion Kingdom, but if you were weaker than the husband of the lioness you're attempting to cheat on, it was a crime punishable by death. I guess that's the reason Pretty Boy ran away immediately after he got a taste of the power of her husband. Take this as your life lesson. Never cheat if you're married, and whatever you do, stay away from someone's wife or husband. It might just be the last thing you end up doing. Alligators are known for many things, but patience is certainly not one of them. Especially now that humans are encroaching on their territory. This alligator has had enough and did not hesitate to make it known. The young man went fishing, threw in his bait, and then got chased. 
He's lucky that there was only one alligator around at that moment. Imagine if there were more. Imagine if that particular alligator was actually closer. The story would have ended differently. Much, much differently. Alligators don't like being disturbed and would not take it kindly if you tried fishing on their waters. They would become defensive and attack. You, on the other hand, if you're not lucky, may end up with one less limb. Stay away from the gators. But this is sure to get the job done. Get ready to believe, folks, because the evidence for Bigfoot just keeps piling up. And this time, it's not just a fleeting sighting caught on a trail cam. No, sir, it's something much more concrete. A researcher, a.k.a. Coyote Peterson, was wandering through a swamp in Canada when he stumbled upon a skull that may just be the ultimate proof of Bigfoot's existence. Now, this isn't your ordinary skull. It looks eerily similar to a human skull, but there's one big difference. Literally one big difference. It's way too big to be human. Based on the descriptions of Bigfoot we know and that we have, we're almost certain that Coyote Peterson is literally holding the skull of Bigfoot while thinking it was some wild animal. This trail cam footage shows a blue heron snatching a baby alligator from the river. This is a rare capture even for a trail cam video. This is something you'd expect from the National Geographic. The capture is both fascinating and heartbreaking. Watching this footage leaves me feel sorry for the baby gator wiggling between the heron's beak as it struggles to free itself from its captor. We can't fault the heron either. It's gotta eat. The wild is brutal, and everyone must do what they must do to survive. Anyone or anything that does less than that will not thrive. The circle of life may be unforgiving, but it's a necessary part of the balance in nature. Does this make your skin crawl? Well, for this mole rat, that's the least of its worries. It's literally seconds away from meeting its creator. Imagine going out on a stroll and coming across something like this. Well, unfortunate, this is something that happens more often than we would like to admit. It's probably already game over for that mole rat. Steve the snake would never pass on an opportunity to have a sumptuous meal like this. While you may love chicken wraps, Steve is not particularly picky and wouldn't mind having this small rat. The good thing about this, though, is he won't be having another meal anytime soon. Snakes such as Steve only eat what they have to and wouldn't need to eat again until this mole rat, whom we're gonna call Fred, is totally digested. Good thing Steve and his family don't go out for dinners often. I mean, can you imagine the sight of six or more of these snakes on a killing spree and eating a number of these mole rats at the same time? Well, I don't want to imagine such a scene. Humans might end up next on their menu. Can you guess the species of the snake, though? The correct answer will win you a shout-out in our next video. Is that water flowing out of a tree? Yes. Is it cursed? Definitely not. Then why is it bleeding? Allow me to explain. While this may look odd and very disturbing, trust me when I say it's perfectly normal. Not healthy, but normal. This tree isn't cursed and neither is it alive and bleeding from being cut. Instead, this tree is very sick. Very sick. It's suffering from something we call the wet wood disease. This is caused by bacteria, which causes the affected area to become wet, slimy, and discolored. The unusually high water content will make the tree soft and spongy and in some situations give it a musty and sour smell. If your tree ever becomes like this, it may be best to just cut it down, but it's in no way cursed. Speaking of diseases, this next one is pretty disturbing. For those of us who have seen zombie movies and clips, I'm sure this looks like a scene from one of those movies, like one of those scenes right before the animals become monsters. As much as I'd love to say yes, it's a definite no, it's not as serious as it looks. What then are we looking at? Well, that's an unfortunate case of tapeworm infestation. Although we don't know how exactly the bear may have gotten infected, we do have a hunch. That's an Alaskan bear, and the Alaskan River is filled with the eggs of these creatures. They get eaten by salmon, and the bears eat the salmon. I mean, it's a whole circle of life thing, and although it does look freaky, very freaky if you ask me, unless there is some heavy infestation, Paddington the bear would be just fine. Let this serve as motivation to take your dewormus. I'm not sure you can imagine something like this happening to you. 
Still on freaky things, there's this trail cam footage of what looks like a deer with mutated antlers. Imagine reviewing footage from your trail cam video and coming across what looks like a deer but is seemingly not. The owner of the trail cam believes it's a deer with abnormal antler growth which might explain its odd appearance and inability to move properly. But what if it's not? What if there's more? What if it's actually alien? Before you throw this out the window, take a look at the footage. Do you see those two dots that look like light? It's the wild. What at all could be there? Unless it's a spaceship belonging to that deer-like creature, what if it's unable to walk properly because it's now getting used to our planet's atmosphere and gravity? I know I sound like I'm losing it, but think about it. Have you ever been scared out of your own room by a cockroach? Well, you are not alone. I'm not ashamed to say I've been too, but this footage does make me feel better about myself. I've always thought of cockroaches as these vile, unshakable creatures that could withstand anything and had no concept of fear. That was at least until I saw this video. All of a sudden, I realized cockroaches are not as resilient or bold as I thought they were. Not only was a cockroach running from the wasp, but it also made an easy meal out of it. Perhaps I need to redirect all of my entomophobia toward wasps. And here again we have another sighting of a large human-like creature, this time on a mountain. No one can say for sure where it was headed or from whence it came, but one thing is certain, it's way too big and hairy to be human. But what creature could it be? No other animal aside from humans moves like that, unless someone thought it was a good idea to climb a mountain wearing such a costume, there's no way that it could be human. I don't want to say it, but this is definitely another Bigfoot sighting. Call me paranoid, but Bigfoot is certainly planning something and we need to be prepared. Ignore this warning at your own peril. But when whatever that Bigfoot and his friends are planning starts happening, don't say I didn't warn ya. This jogger was running on a mountain trail when he spotted a baby cougar, which may have seemed cute at first. However, he knew that where there are cubs, there are usually a protective mother looking nearby. Sure enough, not long after he saw the cub, the mother cougar emerges from the bushes in the distance and begins sprinting towards him. Realizing the danger he was in, he immediately began a retreat. The cougar was however stalking him, ready to pounce any time she believed she had the right opportunity to do so. Despite being very afraid, the young man stood his ground and started to shout and wave his arms to make himself appear bigger than he actually was in an no, attempt to intimidate the predator. The cougar, however, was not deterred no. and continued to advance toward him. As the situation became more desperate, no. he started hurling rocks at the beast, which either lost interest, yeah, became scared, or remembered it had left its kids alone. Whatever the case was, the young man was thankful that he survived. Can I run from a bear by climbing up a tree? If you've ever wondered about this, this footage is your answer. It's a simple no. As large as black bears might be, climbing has never been a problem. Despite them being able to weigh up to 600 pounds when fully grown, climbing has never been a challenge. It's always incredible to see how effortlessly these massive beasts climb, and this particular footage is nothing short of spectacular, if I do say so myself. There's no telling what might have prompted that particular bear to climb up the tree while on an evening stroll, but be sure glad that he did. At least it does inform and tell everyone watching this video never to go up a tree when being pursued by a bear. Still doubt bears can climb? Perhaps you should watch this video. Unlike the previous bear that was climbing up a tree, this particular one attempts to climb up a ladder or a hunter's tree stand. But why? It had what can only be described as a rather malicious intent. It could see two humans up there, and you don't need to be a researcher to know it was thinking of lunch and dinner when it saw them. Thankfully, the hunters knew what to do and tried to establish dominance and scare the beast, which was only possible because they were safely on top of the tree. He succeeds in doing this, and the bear walks away, but occasionally looks back as though it were having second thoughts. This might not scare you, but I'll admit it did scare me. 
No matter how much you love the wild and nature, always make sure you respect the personal space of wild animals, even if you feel like petting or hugging them, especially if they're bears. If you've ever owned a house cat, you know how they love to claw furniture, but what happens in the wild when there's none? Well, they use trees. As annoying as it might be to see your cat do that to your furniture, it's instinctive and can't be helped. It's how they keep their claws sharp. If you're a cat that lies in the wild, your claws had better be sharp, and this bobcat knows it. The trail cam footage shows it sharpening its claws. Boy, are they sharp. Whatever you do, don't ever be at the receiving end of a claw attack from a bobcat. It won't end well. Are bears simply bigger and more dangerous versions of dogs? Well, this trail cam video makes me think so. This trail cam footage is from the swamps in Florida right after it was hit by a thunderstorm. Not only did these bears survive, but they seemed to be playing and enjoying moving on the makeshift bridge built by humans. Clearly, the cubs are nervous the first time they cross it, but Mama Bear isn't. Her composure encourages the cubs to cross the bridge, although very carefully. Perhaps they were simply scared the bridge couldn't hold their weight. But I'd be wary too if I saw a new bridge popping out of nowhere, especially if I didn't know if it was a bridge in the first place. The next day, the story is very different though. All bears, including those that were nervous and the ones that ran away across the bridge knowing it can support them and there was nothing to be afraid of. I've seen and reviewed many weird bits of footage for this channel, but none of them could have prepared me for this video. The creature seen in this footage is obviously very big, with a strange facial appearance. On a normal day, it could have been mistaken for a gorilla, but that creature is no gorilla. I guess that's why the one filming stood still when he ran into it. He didn't know what to do and thought the creature might just walk away. Boy, was he wrong. The creature was certainly out for blood and charged toward him. If you were wondering if he survived, he did, and that's how we have the footage. He did confirm one thing though, he's never going back there and never going to the woods in the evening. I agree with that resolution, whatever you do, don't go out to the woods at night. Even if there are no paranormal creatures roaming there, you'll be sure to find dangerous nocturnal animals. Neither of the two is a safer option. If you absolutely have to go, don't go alone. Otherwise, stay indoors at night and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.